Briars and I'm back for another unboxing video for you today. Um, so this is some brand new 2023 Briar stuff and um, we've got the Collector Club model Bolero in here. I've got a new traditional regular run and also some new of the Stablemate regular runs. So without any further ado I'll show you what I've got in this box. So starting off on top there is our Dima Bay, who is one of the new traditional regular runs. We've got the chestnut quarter horse stable mate here. Um, this is on the like shrunken smart chicolina molds. I just really like chestnuts and I feel like Brian don't do a lot of them, so I ended up getting him. We've also got the regular one Clydesdale because I really like this mold. I think I'm probably gonna show him as a shy horse though, just to be different from my other Atticus stable mate of course. And then finally, the main event is the Collector Club model Bolero. I am a little bit worried about opening this guy. Um, the reason being is I've seen just so many things online about them having massive, massive flaws. So I am a little bit worried, but anyway, we'll crack into him and take a look. So here I am, I've opened up Bolero, who is the Collector Club model for the spring for this year. And he's on the Fireheart mold. He is a lovely glossy bay. Like I'm not a massive gloss person. I'll say this many times, but I do really like this model in gloss. I think it really pops the nice shading he's got and he's a beautiful bay color. Mine, I'm really lucky in that I think I've got a fairly good copy here. I have seen some photos online of him having really quite bad flaws. So like great big dints in the gloss, bubbles. And the only kind of flaw I can find in mine is a very tiny little mark rub mark on his hip here but i think i can probably still have a go at showing him and it's not too obvious um so yeah i really like this boy he's got this like big white blaze and thinking on his muzzle he's just gorgeous like i absolutely love the fire hot mold i'm still sad that i don't have a stein yet so that's probably on my in search of list but this guy is really cool and i love his socks as well i'm actually thinking i'm probably going to try and show this guy as a cob um because to me i've always thought the mold looks kind of like the horses i ride who are often cobby so like with the feathers and the build and i think this guy just suits that so we'll see how he gets on but yeah this is bolero very very nice model i will show you a close up of him in a second next up i thought i'd show you my little stable mate so i got the Clydesdale here he's on kind of the um shrunken down traditional Clydesdale with a new mane and tail, traditional mold, but he's really cute. I love his big blaze and his little socks. And this one actually has quite nice shading. He has a tiny little rub on his shoulder just from the packaging. But again, I don't think it's too noticeable. I think I could get away, I could definitely get away with photo showing him, but I might check him in a live show anyway, just because it's not like a really noticeable rub. And then I have the chestnut quarter horse on the mini smart chicolina. I never noticed how much this like guy's leg kind of comes in from the front. It's not warped, I checked my other one. Um, but yeah, again, I don't, I really like chestnuts. I haven't seen many, I buy a chestnuts. I don't own many chestnuts in my collection. So I got him. I think these guys are like $3.99. So they came along for the ride. I don't really like any of the other kind of single stable mates they've released this year. So I just got those two. And I did think about getting some to customise, but I've just been so busy. I haven't really had much time for customising and I've got other projects to do want to focus on. So maybe in another order, I'll get some more of them for customising. But at the minute, I'm trying to focus on one project at a time and not get too distracted. Okay, so here I now have RD Messia Bay, I think she's called. So she's one of the new regular runs for 2023. And she's on the Zephyra Premier Club mold that was released as part of the last year's premiere club and okay this is a mold that i had such mixed feelings about and the more i've had Sophia on my shelf the more i've really liked the mold and then i saw the briar fest special run araba and i really liked the pony in that color um so i ended up getting her because i just kind of figured well i like her and bay and i just want something to travel with bolero because I always hate spending all that money on shipping for one item from Briar. So every time I buy something from Briar's main website, I do tend to buy like something else. 
Um, so I couldn't resist. She was like a unintentional purchase. I do really want to get the new regular run fjord that's coming out as well, but that wasn't available on the store at the time, and I will probably get that at a later date this year. But this one and the fjord were the two that I really, really liked. And she's a really nicely shaded bay. Again, I'll get her in the light box so you can see her a bit better. But I actually think I prefer her in this colour to the Zavira's like chestnut colour. Um, she's super cute. Her face is really adorable. So I will just get them all in to the light box and we can have a look at them in there. Just so you can appreciate these pretty ponies a bit more. Here we have Bolero in the light box. So as you can see, he is a very glossy boy. He's this really shiny, bright bay colour. Starting at his head end, we've got this really nice blaze that widens out towards his nostrils and he's got a bit of pinking there. He does just have kind of the black eye with an eye white, so they're not the most detailed eyes, but it's not too bad, too noticeable. On his barrel, he does have some dapples. Mine are really quite faint, but I like that. They do blend in um, quite well. He's also got those two white socks, and I just love the attitude of this mould. We'll just spin him round. So here we have his offside. And I just think, yeah, this colour is just awesome on the Fireheart mould. I'm really, really happy with this guy. He's very pretty. And yeah, I think Briar have done a nice job of designing him. And mine, as I said, seems to have got away without major flaws, which is great. So there we have it. That's Bolero. Next up, here we have the new 2023 regular run RD Messiah Bay on the Zephyra mould. And I love the colour on this girl. Briar has done such a good job with the shading on this one. So as you can see, she's got really nice highlights in her neck, her barrel and her flank. And then if we come up towards her face, so she doesn't have a face marking, but I just absolutely love the expression in this mould. Like the face is just adorable. It's what sold me on Zephira when I was really not sure about her initially. And just, oh, the shading is beautiful. She only has this white sock here as a marking. I and mean, it does have a little bit of black detailing on the hoof on the other side. But yeah, she is gorgeous. I'll see if I can flip her around. Just getting her to stand is the issue because she is a little bit tippy. There we go. I found my Zephira is quite tippy as well, but really nice model. I think she looks amazing in Bay. I actually think I prefer this colour scheme on her to the original one on Zephira. But yeah, really nice model. I would definitely recommend her if you are, are a fan of this mould or you like Arabians. She's really, really stunning. And I can't see any flaws on her either. So I definitely think I will be taking her out live showing and photo showing because she is gorgeous last but certainly not least we have these two stable mates to have a little look at so we'll start off by focusing on the quarter horse he has this cute little star two white socks and then if i pick him up you can see his shading he's a really nice coppery type chestnut and yeah he's a cute little model there we go and then we'll move on to the clydesdale Again, this is a lovely shaded bay. Like, I think this is the theme of the video. Lovely shaded bay horses, but I do think it is a colour that Briar is very good at. He's got his little socks there. Big wide blaze and a bit of pinking on his nose. I love this guy. I'm going to show him, I think, as a little shire horse. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these models up close on camera today. I do really like all of them. I think the bays in particular are just stunning. Um, so I'm really happy to have added those to my collection and I've got to say I am super impressed with Briar's paint job on our Dimasea Bay. Um, she is gorgeous and Bolero, he is a stunner too. So overall a really happy little haul for me. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I shall see you again soon in another video. Bye bye!